Hi, this is Kevin from The Mathsaurus, and in this video we're going to look at finding the nth term in quadratic sequences. So linear sequences have always been on the GCSE syllabus, quadratic sequences a bit harder were introduced with the changes to the 9 to 1 exam. So I hope this is useful for anyone preparing for those exams. So for a linear sequence, something of the form a times n plus b, we know that to find the nth term definition for the sequence, we take the first difference of the sequence, so we look at the differences between uh, each of the numbers here, 11 minus 7 is 4, 15 minus 11 is 4, and when we get that this first difference is constant, we know that the a in a n plus b is equal to this number here. So this sequence here, if this is the term number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this sequence is going to be related to the sequence 4 times n, which is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And then we see that to go from this sequence to the original sequence, we just add 3 to each term. So the sequence 4n plus 3 is exactly the sequence we started with. And so we can work out the nth term of, a lin of any linear sequence in that way. Just before we go on to the quadratic sequences part of this video, please do click the like button below the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me get these videos out there, so I would really appreciate that. But let's get back on with the video. So now suppose we have a quadratic sequence. So this time it's going to be of the form an squared plus bn plus c, where a, b and c are coefficients that we're trying to work out. So we start in the same way and we look for the first differences of this sequence and we get here 13 minus 6 is 7, 24 minus 13 is 11, 39 minus 24 is 15 and 58 minus 39 is 19 and this time we see that there isn't a constant appearing. So we take the difference of the differences and we do 11 minus 7 is 4, 15 minus 11 is 4, 19 minus 15 is 4. And when you get the second differences constant, this means that the sequence is a quadratic sequence. For a quadratic sequence, the coefficient a is half of the number that we get here. So the a that we're looking for is going to be 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. Right? So this sequence here, again, let's add in the term numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This sequence here is going to be related to the sequence 2n squared. Right? So let's just write down n squared. That's 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. And 2n squared is 2, 8, 18, 32, and 50. Just doubling the sequence n squared. Right? So now the question is, what else do I need to add on to the 2n squared to get this original sequence? Okay, so let's simplify this by getting rid of a little bit of that working. So what I'm going to do now is take that original sequence okay, and subtract off the 2n squared and then we can just see directly the rest of the sequence that we've got to work with. Okay, so let's do 6 minus 2 to get 4, 13 minus 8 is 5, 24 minus 18 is 6, uh, 39 minus 32 is 7, 58 minus 50 is 8. And now what we see is we're left with a linear sequence. Right, just go, when I look at the differences of this sequence, they're just all 1. Okay? So that means this sequence is 1 times n plus something, or just n plus a constant, and we can see that it's, this sequence is just n plus 3. Okay? So what we have here is that the original sequence is a combination of this sequence 2n squared and this sequence n plus 3. Okay, so it must be that the nth term definition of this sequence is 2n squared plus n plus 3. And then we have uh, that this is our final answer, 
it's the nth term definition of that original sequence. Okay, so let's do another example. Minus 3, minus 1, 3, 9, 17. When I take the first differences here, I'm adding 2, then plus 4, this is plus 6, this is plus 8, and then when I look at the second differences, I just get 2, 2, 2. So that means that the A coefficient is 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So when I'm looking at this sequence, it's going to be related to the sequence n squared. Right, so I can just write down my term numbers and the squares, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. And then I'm going to take the original sequence and subtract the n squared, so I get minus 4. So minus 1, min minus 4 is minus 5. 3 minus 9 is minus 6. 9 minus 16 is minus 7. 17 minus 25 is minus 8. And now I get this nice linear sequence. And this time, uh, the differences for this linear sequence are minus 1. So this is now going down in units of 1. So this sequence is going to be minus n plus or minus something. Uh, so, you know, if I just had the sequence minus n, that would be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So this sequence is always 3 below minus n. So this one must be minus n minus 3. So that means that when I go back to my original sequence, you see all of these numbers are just these ones plus these ones. And that means that the nth term definition for my original sequence here is n squared minus n minus 3. So I hope that was useful. This video obviously was all about quadratic sequences, but when I teach this I do find a lot uh, that I always get the question of well, what about you know higher sequences like cubic sequences or you know what happens when it's not constant at the second differences and I've prepared a second video that I'll put out soon after this one that goes through exactly that question and I'll put that in the link below so if you're interested in that um, uh, check that out in the description uh, underneath here which will be out a few days after this video and don't forget the Mathsaurus website is out there with videos covering exam questions and teaching videos for every topic at GCSE and IGCSE and loads of stuff for A-level and other uh, maths exams there as well. Um, so do put in the comments if there's anything I should like to see or anything isn't clear, otherwise I will see you in the next video.